When a desirable tomato variety has been developed, seed producers can increase the seed on a mass scale or for hybrids, conduct multiple replicated crosses. Potatoes, on the other hand, are vegetatively propagated by planting the tubers, or seed potatoes. The resulting plants are genetically identical to the original. But in order to go from one plant to acres of farmers' fields, a sample of tissue is used to culture thousands of plants in a lab. These are then planted to grow the many varieties of potatoes that people enjoy. Although cultivated potato varieties are diverse, wild relatives represent a valuable resource for useful traits. For example, Solanum bulbocustanum is the source of late blight resistance, and many processing potatoes have Solanum chacoense in their pedigree. There are about 120 known species of potato, and about three quarters of them are diploid, and some can be triploid, tetraploid, pentaploid, and even hexaploid. In order to have a fertile cross, the species need to be at the same ploidy level, with the same number of chromosome copies. Breeders have a few special techniques to navigate up and down ploidy levels. To go from tetraploid to diploid plants, breeders have to reduce the number of chromosome copies by half. To do this, they can use one of several diploid Fureja species to pollinate the tetraploid. The sperm cells in the Fureja group will not fertilize the egg, but will allow the embryo to develop. The resulting haploid seed will have two copies of each chromosome, half the number of its parent. When grown, these can cross with other diploids. To move in the other direction, up the ploidy scale, breeders have two techniques. First, plants can be treated with a compound called colchicine, which doubles the number of chromosomes. Alternately, a few pollen grains from diploid plants may naturally have twice the number of chromosomes. This 2N gamete is compatible with tetraploid plants, allowing them to be crossed. Finally, not all potato relatives can cross with each other, even though they have the same number of chromosomes. Potato species are divided into several groups assigned a number, called the endosperm balance number, or EBN. Species must have the same EBN number to be compatible. For example, a diploid with an EBN of 1 cannot cross with another diploid with an EBN of 2. Recently, however, potato breeders have discovered one species, Solanum varicosum, which can cross with both one EBN and two EBN species. This bridge species may allow valuable new traits to be introduced into potato varieties. Whether breeding within cultivated tomato and potato species or crossing with their wild relatives, the diversity of Solanum is enough to keep any plant breeder busy.